will not surprise you to learn that I'm a big fan of Dan Savage's It Gets Better project, in which speakers both famous and extraordinary endeavor to affirm to young people struggling with being bullied, oppressed, or otherwise put down because they are gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgendered, etc., that their pain, isolation, and generally unfriendly circumstances are temporary, and that if they can just tough out this rough patch of their lives, they'll find a better future waiting for them. See, while I'm quite content with being a cynical bastard inclined to frown upon anything that sounds like contemplative, let go and let God, Jesus take the wheel, light at the end of the tunnel bullshit, in this case I respect the practical application. The fact is, the suicide rates among LGBT kids and teenagers in America is abominably high, and kids that age need both peers and role models to remind them as often as possible that the abject hell of being a teenager only seems like it's going to last forever, that school and high school cease to mean shit once you leave them, all that. And yeah, since you're talking to kids and teenagers, you have to keep it simple, pie in the sky, and quasi-inevitable. It gets better, dot dot dot, once you finally move out from under your Bible-thumping dipshit parents, away from whatever ignorant backwater hellhole you're currently stuck in, and to some part of the country that touches either water or Canada, where sanity is relatively widespread, is more accurate, but it's not quite as innately encouraging. My only slight, very, very slight critique of the campaign is that I sincerely hope that this is not the only shape it plans to take. While it gets better is a vital thing that needs to be said in the here and now, I feel like in a few years it's going to need a phase two or a companion component framed along the lines of making it better. The fact is, the reason it will get better for LGBT youth living right now is that for decades prior, civil rights and gay equality activists have been working hard as hell to make the better world these kids now stand to inherit. People, especially people who belong to oppressed minority groups, need to be reminded that society does not improve on its own or by some kind of preset automatic course. Society only ever changes, grows, or improves when those who refuse to stand for an unjust status quo grab society by the horn and force it to change. In other words, I hope that once the kids whose sanity, if not very lives, are saved by It Gets Better finally get to better, there's an equally strong campaign to make sure they don't get complacent about it. Any boxer will tell you, surviving a pummeling in round one doesn't win the fight. Coming back in rounds two and three to destroy the other guy wins the fight. Making sure that another generation of LGBT youth isn't decimated by self-hatred and suicide is only the first step. The next step must be to continue tearing down the meaningless traditions, arcane superstitions, and outmoded concepts of so-called normal that created the oppression in the first place, so that it's that much easier for the next generation and the next and the next until the very notion that being LGBT used to make growing up a struggle is as foreign and ancient-sounding as the idea of a flat planet. It. Yeah, it gets better, and if you're willing to fight for it, it can get even better than that.